All right, guys, welcome back to Reaping the Dungeon, a.k.a. Dungeon Rogue. i got to clip into, click into the right box here. That's my DOS box. And type Reap. If you want to know why I know Reap, it's, if we do our directory here, reap.exe is our game. From now on, I will just uh, start in the game so I don't have to... So we don't have to sit through this... What would have been an extremely impressive animation back in the day, especially that slow fade. That would have been very nice. Frontline Software presents Dungeon Hack slash Reaping the Dungeon. All right, by Ron Hoyce. Space. One moment. Now, it's going to start us off in a new game, but we're going to press F1 for menu because we are awesome like that. And we're going to press L for load, and we're going to go down to Jeff 2, and boom, we've loaded. There we go. Let us continue on our merry jo Jovian way. Reaping the Jovian Dungeon. Jupiter's a weird word like that. Not Jupiterian, but Jovian. By Jove. I think our oxygen is okay for the moment. I'm not gonna use the vents just now. Energy cells are good. Okay, I just relocated again. That's good, because maybe it'll pop in next to us, you know? I also found the drop shaft very early in my first my first playthrough, so I was doing much better, I think, in that game than I'm so far doing here, but who knows? As long as we find it before we're done the level, it really doesn't matter. So again, if you go three, you know, we, we just we went we went down here to this corner. Then we went whoops, this wrong mouse, which most of them are using here. Down here to the corner, we went one, two, three to the right and up. Because when we came down, we saw all these squares. Going back up, we're seeing all these squares. So as long as you go every three, you'll map everything, and you'll save yourself some uh, oxygen because you just can't map. You know, you can't walk everywhere. Just abandon my own advice. <laughs> That's a vent. We want to find another data chip and find out where that damn drop thing went. I think your your primary, to me, the primary use of those data chips is finding the drop shaft if you haven't found it already, just via luck. And also used to find the creatures. If you think you've got most of them and you're like, I want to find the last few, you can use it to find the creatures to make sure you get that kill every creature benefit. I don't think we're going to get it this game, this round, rather, this map, which is disappointing. I should have recorded my first game. <laughs> hmm... Hmm. Uh, Alright, so there's no way in... Oh yeah, there's... Right, right here we can get into here. Back here we can explore a little bit. We didn't miss much, so I'm not going to go there just now because it would take too much oxygen to get back there and... I guess maybe not. Maybe yeah, we'll check that out. Let's go there. ba 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 ding All right, that was worth it. <laughs> All right, um, there's this stuff here and over to the right. That's probably the biggest chunk. So let's head to here and then down and then like this. There are pits in this game, too, and various traps. Um, well, I don't know about various. There are definitely pits. Um, I haven't uh, I encountered one yet this playthrough. I, I've mentioned in other games that I've played, I often look for things that games do um, and that I don't do in Caverns as a Skazian 2 and things that I want to take away. And I think one of the ones I want to take away that this game does... Actually, I'll show it to you as soon as we see a, ma uh, uh, a pit. For now, let's hop on this data chip. And where's that drop shaft, baby? 11-8, top left corner. 
All right, let's try and get there. 11.8 M. M. So it's going to be somewhere up maybe in this room, probably right around here or so. Shoot. Well, we got to try. We could either explore this way and then hook up this way and go up, um, which would you know save us backtracking over stuff we've already done. But if it doesn't connect fast, we're just risking missing it. So let's, let's head directly. So to the left, up through the big-ass room, back this way. A lot of wending. Let's see if we can do it. Wasting oxygen, man, but if we can tag it down, at least we'll know where it is and not have to keep searching for it. Shoot, I went the wrong way. I don't want to sell my copper here because it's so worthless, so... There's no point in going in that shop. I won't have any money to spend if I don't sell that copper. Through the big ass room. Back through here. Ah! Alright, it's gone. So much for that plan, guys. Back to randomly searching or finding another data chip. Alright, we're here. Let's go this way. I've lost track of how many monsters we have left. Maybe nine or eight or something. Money. Give me that sweet, sweet money, honey. I'll also include in, uh, if you didn't notice in the first video, I'll also include a link to a, uh, sort of like a wiki online that can help you out with this game. It gives you some tips and it, uh, I don't know, talks about different things that, that are going on in the game. 121.72, so over to our right, I believe, right? Yep, yeah, 121 is, well, 50, 51 to our right, and 3 down. Let's take a look on here. Well, we should be able to get there. In theory, we can get here there directly from this way. Like, it should be, like, right over here-ish, I'm guessing, maybe? Um, unless this way gets blocked, in which we have to go all the way back and all the way around here. Let's try this heading east. Cars and got blocked. All right, there we go. Let's not waste any time here. Let's just head over. 151.72, I think it was. I hope I'm not misremembering that. I think that's what it was, wasn't it? Or was it 121.72? Fuck, I think it was 121.72. I'm an idiot. I think. If so, we're very damn close. There it is. Okay, we tagged it. That's that. It's going to stay there for the rest of the game. If we look on our map, we can even see that red dot is where it is. These blue little huts are the transporters. This is the store. I've yet to determine what that is. I'm not sure. Little yellow dots are often pits. I don't know what that gray dot is. Don't know, man. Still things I'm figuring out in this game. But at least we've tagged the transporter. The main thing we want now is theoretically to kill all the monsters in the level. Failing that, it might be worthwhile just to get off this level. I don't know. Oh, well, there's a lot of space to explore to find more copper and stuff. But the problem is... Oh, there we go. I mean, killing these guys gets us energy crystals as well. Maybe, maybe I will spend some crystals right now. As a general rule, I don't think it's a, you know, you want to get your oxygen up and stuff, but let's, let's take a look at improve. There's some things we can do right now. We could improve our damage by 1%. Now you say 1%, what the hell's the point? Well, here's the thing. It's 1% bonus damage, but that bonus damage is always a minimum of 1. So as long as you improve your damage even 1%, you've actually given yourself plus 1 damage. Um, so doing that early can be a really, really useful thing. In theory, if you wanted, we know that's I think 150. If we wanted to do it, uh, 100. So we could do it right now. We have enough. Um, if we wanted to look at uh, visual mapping, because that could certainly, uh, well, let's say to the east as an example. For 280, man, that could make us move a lot. Like we could we could cover a lot more ground and therefore conserve a lot more oxygen. I think I'm going to take the improved damage by one because we can do it. 
enter. So we'll always do plus one damage, at least. Um, I don't think that's applicable only to this weapon. It might be. I hope not, or else I just wasted my money, because we're not going to stick with this weapon very long. Um, now we got to save up to get some other stuff to improve. But at least we're doing better. We can save a bit of health by killing those... Uh, those beings. Uh, there's a pit. There you go. So we took 28 damage by falling in a shallow pit. We have a 10% chance of escape. Now I think that's something I'm going to end up adding into um, caverns too, is that when you fall in a pit, it's always bugged me, you can just climb out of it. You can jump over them, you can fall in them, take damage. But I'm going to make it, you can, it can be hard to get out. I was always reticent to do so because I thought, well, when I used to think about doing that, oh hey, what I would think of is, if you see, you see our plus one damage bonus right there, he did th I did three damage plus one damage bonus. When I used to think about implementing that, I would think about if you try and get out of the pit and you fall back in, you have to take damage again. And I thought, I don't want to do that because it'll, it'll kill you. Kill you surely. It'll be way too deadly again. Um, but I don't have to. I can just make it, once you've fallen in, if you can't get back out, uh, every time you fall in, it just wastes, wastes a turn, you know? And time is, again, a slightly essential feature of that game. Not a big one. Let's just check out this and look for creatures. Find out if they're inaccessible or not. There's only one left. <laughs> where is he? Oh, we don't know. We don't know offhand where he is. Uh, we just know there's one left by using the data chip. We'd have to use a creature orb to find him. For now, let's just wander around. We might just bump into him. He's probably someplace we haven't been. Not for sure, but probably. So if we continue to explore, we may, we may encounter him. There's only one left to go, though. If we could just kill that one last guy, we'd get down to level two. It saves some oxygen anyway. Maybe I'll... Well, let's, let's, if we're close to exploring stuff, let's explore the stuff that's close at hand. All right, that's that. Let's take a, a look at our map, but let's use a creature orb. I'm going to put the uh, cursor on the green thing there. Hit enter. You can see the little light came on. And then we'll go to map the dungeon. He is. Yeah. He's here. So I don't believe... This is the pit. That's the little yellow dot is a pit. I don't know what that little gray dot is. The creature is there. And... It, the orbs that you use for those purposes only last for one iteration. Um, I.e., if we leave the map now and come back, it, we won't see where he is anymore. Unfortunately, I see no casual way to get there. We could use our teleporting mushrooms that will teleport us randomly and hope that we teleport in over here. But there's a massive danger in that. A, if I mean, A, we just may not end up there. B, if we do end up there and we've run out of teleportation crystals, we're screwed because we can't get out. We'll just die of oxygen depletion. Um, so I don't think it's of value. We could keep exploring up here and over here and stuff, looking for copper, but it's not valuable enough that I think we want to waste our oxygen. We're close enough to the exit. I think we we can't get that last guy. It's unfortunate. I wish the game didn't work that way. I wish it connected everything. I don't know if that was by intentional design, that it doesn't always, or if that's a, a deficiency of the map generator. I don't know. Um, either way, I know the game is winnable either way because you can teleport and you can dig and that kind of stuff, but... For now, we're not getting our big bonus. Let's just get out of here. Yep. Okay, we're on dungeon level 2. We gotta get down to dungeon level 15 to find that weapon, dungeon level 65 to win the game. Um, as you can see, when you, except for the very first time you start the game, you don't start on the shop. So there is a shop on this level, but it's, it's at an unknown location. I wonder if we can tell where we are in relation to the edges of the map. Yeah, I guess we can. Okay, I was just curious if, if that would show you that. So we're looking for the shop, we're looking for the drop shaft, we're looking for treasure, we're looking for creatures. We're looking for almost anything we can find. We're definitely looking for plants. Oh, there we go, a new monster. A tripus. As you can see, it gets three attacks. 855. Five. Dead. 18 raw crystals gained. Okay. As a general rule, it strikes me if you're going to improve your. Um, let's see where that thing is. How long that thing's going to be? Shift and to the right. 244 turns. Okay. As a general rule, if you're going to improve your scanning ability, you know, north, south, east, or west. To me, east and west make more sense than north and south. 
because the map is wider than it is long, tall. So odds are you will spend more um, time traveling in an east-west direction than you will in a... Both of them will be about the same time. Than you will in a uh, north-south direction. Let's come back here soonish. Let's go about 100 turns or so. About 100 turns away. One, two. Oh, how's this guy doing? There's lots of things around here. Oh, this guy's going to be any second. Is it past my turn here? Oxygen! Alright, let's keep a rough track. Oh, 15 rock crystals on the ground. That's nice. So I guess you can just find the. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I was, I was attacking to the west. I should have been. Oops, hey, anyway, there we go. This is working out all right. How long? 118 turns. Okay, let's head back for the others. And then we gotta come back here for that one. I don't know how long they are still. Where were they? This game is not made for someone like me who has the memory of a frickin' aphid. Drop shaft moved. Oh, here they are. All right, I'm gonna scan one more just because I want to know. I shouldn't waste it. Four turns. One, two, three, four. Oxygen. This guy'll be soon too. Then oh, he's already gone. All right, this one will be a little while because he's still in second stage. Whoa! Hey, there we go. Two hundred ninety-six. Okay. That was everything here, right? Well, that was profitable. That wasn't bad. Drop shaft relocated. Guy's getting probably that the one we passed a little while ago is probably getting close to growing up now. Hey, magic mushroom speed boost. Haven't had to use one of those yet. Let's go back. He was somewhere around here, wasn't he? Uh, there we go. Okay, that was worth it. Oh. Hundred and forty three crystals. Where's that drop shaft? D. One thirty one five. Way the fuck to the east. The east by north. Well, let's head that direction nonetheless. One thirty one five. Again, if you're smart, you'll write down that coordinate. I didn't do so because despite promising you I would, I was too stupid to actually go get a pen and paper. In between games. Death to you. 131.5. It's a pretty cool game. Definitely a very, uh, it's, it's got some layers to it that I don't know how apparent they are right off the bat, but it's got some definite levels to it with the different things you can improve and um, the different weapons we can find, etc. Got a message from my wife about uh, some business going on with our film. I'll have to check that out in like 15 minutes. 10 minutes. It's not urgent, I promise you. I'm not being totally irresponsible here. One thirty one five. Do I have that right? Do I, have I forgotten already? If so, we're getting close. We can do this, baby. No, don't get it right now. Come back. In a minute. Oh, shit. Oh. 131. F oh, fuck. I think he's like just to my south. Yeah, baby. All right, we got that thing.
find there, I, I get potionitis with those data chips. The same way in a lot of games, I don't know if you were like this, but it's been remarked on by a lot of RPG players. You you collect things like potions, and one step, one shot items, especially in games where you have a large inventory. And then you get fearful of using them because you're like, I may need it someday. I may need it when it's urgent, and then you just don't use it. I'm that way with the data chips. I'm like, do I really need it now? Now that the drop shaft's been found. When you don't have the drop shaft, sure, that's a great purpose for it. But now, like, to find creatures what, or treasures, what would be the point? I don't know. Treasures are not going to teleport. Like, if I haven't been somewhere, that's where the treasures are. I don't see a lot of reason to do that. Might be some mild reason to do it. Find out if there's a lot left, I guess. I guess it won't show you where the monsters are either. It'll just tell you. Maybe I should, uh... Yeah, we'll go back. Let's find out how many creatures we're dealing with overall. That's right. Use these to write it down. Nine more. Okay. Most of them rebel crabs. Um, so I... Nine only to go. So I guess it does help you. You can be, uh... You can assess better if you're, you're getting close to finishing or not. If you, it, Once you've scanned for creatures once, there's no reason to do it again. If you're using a pen and paper, you can keep track yourself, as long as you're diligent about it. I think a game of this difficulty, it pays to uh, take extra steps and precautions yourself, you know? I think those small clusters are just static, like, treasure, like it would always been 29-ish, or, you know, a, a small amount of... Whoa, fuck. Don't do what I just did. Um, like, it won't just... It'll always be a small amount of energy if it's laying there in a pile like that, as opposed to... I don't think that's a plant that diminished down to that level, you know, is what I'm saying. I don't think. Of course, I do not know. Shoot from Shinola. There we go. So there'll be eight left after this. Oh, seven left after this. We have enough raw crystals now, don't we, to improve something? Let's take a look. I. We could either... What if we did our oxygen expense? 250, right? We have more than that, I think. I could be wrong. Do we have more than that? Yeah, we have 266. So I could do this, down to 1.2. That might be all right. But for a little bit more, I could improve that mapping uh, ability. And I think that might be more valuable because we'll also just be, you know, seeing more of the map faster. We'll be losing less oxygen just by walking around. You know what I mean? Am I right about that? Will I be using less oxygen? Or am I totally wrong? Eh, let's, see, let's put our oxygen up. Oxygen expense. Uh, do I just press O? Oh, I've already done it. I see. Enter. Okay, so we're down to 1.2 there. That'll help a bit. Oxygen will deplete a little slower than it was. It feels like a lot of interesting choices when you when you have the... Not when you level up. You don't level up, per se. But when you have the energy crystal suspend, it feels like you do have a lot of options at your disposal, and all of them feel valuable. Which is what you want to see in a... in a character improvement system. I, I'm pretty impressed with, with that aspect of this game, especially. I think you... The improvement options for your character are pretty... significant. 
and all of them seem valuable. How are we doing for time? Another five minutes or so. And then I gotta call it quits and check out this message. Magic mushroom of visual scan. What does that do? I'm offhand, not sure what that does. Maybe it maps the map? Maybe it maps the whole level? I don't know. I'll try and find out in between games, rather than just waste it now to find out. <laughs> Alright, only six of those left. Our weapon skill is still going up. I still love that system too. That improvement uh, via use system is great. You can also spend money to improve it, but why? Oh, yes. Why bother? 27 turns. That's beautiful. Let's map out this room and then we'll go right back. Yeah, baby. Although, as a general rule, you can see our oxygen is still going down. Like, we started with 10,000. Now we're down to 7,000. So we do have to either keep improving that oxygen consumption rate or just get smarter or better at doing this. And I, and I don't offhand know what that means, smarter or better. I'm not offhand. I'm not sure I can think of a, a way to be more efficient, to say. Than we are. Helps a little tiny bit. <laughs> um, we know how many. We got six of those guys left. We might as well uh, find out how many. Uh, how many treasures are left? So we've only found a third of it. There's still a third of it out there. Now I don't know if treasure only includes monetary treasure, like you know, silver, gold, raw, raw crystals, etc. Or if it also includes plants and, I don't know, magic items or whatever the hell they're called, you know, in this game. Well, where's the shop? 138.51. So approximately, let's take a look at our map, just so we can get a gauge for ourselves. It's somewhere, 138.51. Somewhere up here, maybe think. Sort of the northeast. Let's try and head in that general direction. Although we don't have straight super far. Let's keep going this way a bit. Because uh, these plants will come of age eventually. Like in the not, not super, super distant future. So we'll, we'll, on, our, on our return trip to get back to the shop, we'll, uh, we'll check them out. If there is a return trip to get back to the shop. There might not be. All right, I'm gonna go back. I think it might be time to harvest that plant. Of course, when you consider how many how much oxygen we're depleting going back there, even if it's an oxygen plant, it may end up uh, not being worth the effort. That's well, not quite ready yet. How long? 229 turns. Screw you. That sucks. I don't know if we can afford to wait that long. What did it say it was gonna be? I, I should have also noted what is it gonna be. We're totally engaged in melee combat right now. I, we can find um, missile weapons. I don't know about find, but we can purchase missile weapons. I don't think you can just find that laying around, I don't think. Except for perhaps the one on 150. Um, but I don't think the monsters ever become missile uh, 
capable. I think they're always melee creatures. 100% of them. <sighs> However long it is, there's gonna pass my turn. Can't be that long. And we're here. It was this one, right? Oh, no, oh, Jesus. I'm glad we didn't wait on that. Well, let's find out then. 165 turns. Son of a bitch! <sighs> what is it? Fuck, I didn't see what it was going to be. I'm going to pass that many turns. This may be a mistake, but we're not going to come back this way. I hope this isn't a mistake. If it's oxygen and it's more than 165 worth, then it wasn't a mistake. I don't want to waste another fucking scanner. we got to be in close. Ugh, oh, there it is. Damn, it's energy. Well, that's a lot of energy, but uh, I don't know if we can afford that right now. Let's find that damn store. Maybe they'll be selling oxygen cheap. We're at the 31 minute mark, guys, so I guess actually that's uh, that's going to be it. Let's just see on the map. Oh, jeez. Oh, I failed. 76 turns. Let's gather this before we uh, quit as well. Oh. Another one that's not going to be too long. I'm not going to scan it just yet. Hopefully by the time this one's done, that one will also be done. Well, that helped a lot. Alright, where are we in the map? Just so we know, in terms of... Uh, so we're somewhere in the vicinity where I, I, I surmised that shop to be. I, I could have miscalculated I forget what it was, to be honest. I should have, again, with a pen and paper, I could have written down what it was. I should have also written down how many creatures we got left. Is it five? Is it six? Don't know. All right. Um, I'm going to call it quits for now. I, I got you know, work to tend to. Um, when I return, I will try and look up some of that stuff I said I'd look up. If I can remember what I said I'd look up. And I will uh, I'll also have a pen and paper so I can do my job properly. All right, in the meantime, uh, go ahead and download the game, man. It's, it is a legitimately cool game. It's a, it feels like it'd be a hell of a challenge, and it's it's got it's got its own interesting, unique feel. Um, a, it's sci-fi. We don't see a, we don't see as much of that as we do fantasy in the uh, the roguelike genre, and it's really really interesting. Make sure you download DOSBox, obviously. If you don't know how to do how to use DOSBox, it's free. Uh, Google it, and then find a YouTube tutorial on how to do it. Because I don't know offhand how to set it up, and I'll, I grew up with DOS, so it's second nature to me. All right, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, let's press uh, F1. F1 for fun. Uh, darkness. F1. Save. In number two. Let's call it Jeff Two again, sir. All right, quit. Yep. Bye.